Welcome, brethren, to the month of May. We trust that the Lord has blessed you mightily in the first quarter of the year. If you're new here, know that you're at the right place at the right time. There's no better place to be than where the Word of God is. For the Word of God is truth, it is reality. And in today's article, the first of May, Pastor Chris reminds us that the truth dwells in us. Let's take a look at our opening scripture taken from 2 John chapter 1, verse 2. The Bible says, For the truth's sake, which dwelleth in us, and shall be with us forever. John discovered Jesus in a way that most others never did. He saw something about the Word of God that was unique. He alone shares with us in his gospel writing. In John chapter 1, verse 14, it's, he said, and the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. John understood it because he was there when Jesus was taught and said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. He heard Jesus say, I am the truth. And so when Jesus, in his prayer to the Father, said, Thy word is truth, in John chapter 17, verse 17, John was able to put it together, that the word is truth, and the truth became flesh. Jesus was more than a man, more than a prophet, and more than a rabbi. He was God's truth, God in the flesh. What is truth? Truth is reality, absolute reality. Everything else fades away, but the truth of God dwells in us and shall be with us forever. You can read this in 2 John chapter 1, verse 2. Once this reality settles in your heart, you'll realize there's nothing you can't have and nothing you can't do, because the truth dwells in you. And this truth, the word of truth, created everything, including you. In James chapter 1, verse 18, the Bible says, Of his own will beget he us with the word of truth, that we should be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. Glory to God. Wherever you are right now, you can repeat this prayer after me and mean it with your heart. It's important to know what we're confessing with our mouths at all times. Say, Dear Father, I thank you for your word. Your word is truth. And I walk in truth because I am one with the truth. Your word confirms my prosperity, divine health, victory, dominion, and glorious life in Christ. I make progress from glory to glory as I walk in your truth, established in righteousness, in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. As always, remember to set aside time to study the Bible today. The Word of God has power and capacity to make you wise. Don't ever let the Word become too common to you or be casual with your study times and meditation on God's Word. The Word is what God uses to mold your personality from your character create your habits and chart your course in life in order for you to arrive at your divine destiny. Praise God. You can look into John chapter 14 verses 16 to 17, Colossians chapter 3 verse 16, and lastly, 2 John chapter 1 verse 1 to 2 in the NIV. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Join us again tomorrow for a brand new episode. God bless you.
never received salvation, if you've never received Christ into your heart, if you've never experienced this life of Christ that I'm talking to you about, this is your moment. Say these words. Say, oh Lord God, I believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I believe He died to save me. I believe God raised Him from the dead and He's alive today. I confess with my mouth Jesus Christ is Lord of my life from this day. And by my faith in Him I receive eternal life into my heart, into my spirit. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I have eternal life now. I'm a child of God now. I am born again. Thank you, Lord. If you just said that prayer along with Pastor Chris, congratulations. Welcome to the family of God. Rhapsody of realities, giving you life a meaning every day. My life made perfect with Rhapsody.